church kids, it's Miss Lily. I am so excited that you are here today. What an amazing day. If you are interested, we would love to have you a part of our weekly digital parties. It's a really cool chance where you get to hang out with other church kids, hang out with church kids leaders, and play games and watch an amazing message. So if you're interested, have your families text digital party to 97,000. We can't wait to see you. Hey church kids, it's Mr. Damon, and I hope that you have had a fantastic week. Well, I have, one, because I got to do some fun stuff, and two, because I get to hang out with my great friend, you. That's right, you. I am so glad that we get to be friends and we get to hang out today. Well, today, we are starting a brand new series here in church kids, learning about Jesus through the book of Philippians, can you say it? Say Philippians, Philippians, Philippians. The book of Philippians, and it is going to be fantastic. But before we jump into that, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's time for the question of the week. The question of the week is this. Have you ever had to do something that was hard? It was difficult, you didn't like it. Maybe it started off fun, but then the more it went on, it was like, ugh, ugh, ugh. I want to be done! Oh, church kids, have you ever had to do something that was so hard you wanted to quit in the middle of it? Oh, and then all of a sudden somebody came along and said, hey, you could do this, you got this. Eh? And you're like, oh, maybe I can. And then you finished. How great is it when somebody comes and encourages us to finish what we've started even when it's difficult, it's the best. Well, that is what the book of Philippians is, believe it or not. The book of Philippians was written by the Apostle Paul about 27 years after Jesus died on the cross, rose from the dead, and whoop, went back up into heaven. And it was written to a group of Jesus followers who lived in the city of Philippi. And guess what? Philippi is still there today. You thought your city was old. Ha! Go live in Philippi. Well, church kids, Paul wrote this letter to the Philippians to tell them, hey, you are fo started following Jesus and some things have happened to you that are difficult and hard. Don't stop. You could do this. You see, the book of Philippians tells us a number of different things about our best friendship with Jesus. And the first thing that it tells us is this, life is like a race. And Jesus, he's our goal. Listen to what Paul writes in Philippians. He says this, I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead, I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Jesus, is calling us. Church kids, Paul says, life? It's like a race. Have you ever run a race before? Maybe something like this? At first, when the race starts, everything's great, right? You're feeling good, maybe you're winning, but then the race keeps going. And then it keeps going. And then your lungs start to hurt. I can't breathe, it's starting to get hard to breathe. And then your legs start to burn and hurt and you're like, ouch, I need some water. Ah, 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 and all of a sudden, what started off great, now it's starting to get painful, and you're probably like, oh, I don't know if I want to finish this. It's taking too long. It's too hard. I think I want to quit. Ah, well, church kids, that's when you got to remember. What are you going to focus on? You got to focus on the finish line. You got to focus on the goal, right? And if you focus on the goal, all of a sudden, the pain in your lungs, the pain in your legs, oh, I got to keep running it starts to not matter as much. And when you focus on the goal, it's gonna help you get to the finish line. So church kids, sometimes in the middle of the race, things are gonna get difficult, aren't they? But what do we do? Do we quit because it's hard? Do we just give up because like, oh, I thought this is all supposed to be easy. No, we don't stop when things get difficult. We keep our eye on the goal, on the finish line. And as long as we keep our eye on the finish line, it'll help us reach the end of our race. And church kids, what's our goal? 
What's our prize? Listen, we're not running to get some trophy that's made out of wooden plastic that's gonna like fall apart someday. No way! We are running for our prize in Jesus. Jesus is our goal. Every single day, walking with him, experiencing and receiving his love, finding out who we are because of who Jesus is, receiving all of his blessings. When we follow his instructions, church kids, life with Jesus is our goal. And do you know this? Philippians also tells us that you and I, oh, we're not gonna quit our race in the middle. We're not gonna stop walking with Jesus just because things don't go our way or maybe our bodies get hurt or our emotions get hurt. Church kids, we are gonna walk with Jesus, run with Jesus for our entire life. Church kids, here you are in maybe preschool or elementary school or junior high, and you are walking with Jesus. You are gonna run with Jesus in high school. You're gonna keep running with Jesus in college. After you graduate college, and you're gonna get an amazing job and you're gonna start your career. You are gonna be running with Jesus. When you meet somebody and you get married, ah, cooties, gross, I know, but just wait. You're still gonna be running with Jesus. When you have your own family and your own kids, you're gonna be running with Jesus. How about when you become a grandparent yourself and you're really old and you've got gray hair and you'll maybe walk with a cane or a walker with tennis balls on the bottom. Church kids, you're still going to be running with Jesus. Why? Because his plan for you is so good. His plan for you is to walk with him every single day of your life. When things are easy and great and when things are tough and difficult and maybe you feel like quitting, we stop and we remember, we keep our eyes on the goal. And who's our goal? It's Jesus. And the moment that we take our last breath here on earth, and we step into eternity, and we get to see Jesus face to face, do you know what he's going to tell you? He's gonna look at you with a gigantic smile and say, well done, you did it. You finished your race. And we're probably gonna look back to Jesus and be like, Jesus, whoa, you're the one that helped me do it. And he's gonna be like, I know. Church kids, that's your future. That's your destiny. That's God's plan for you. And Philippians shows it to us, is that life is like a race. Jesus is our goal. And we are gonna walk and run with him for our entire life. What an amazing message. Church kids, we would love to have you a part of our digital parties. So don't forget to ask your families to text digital party to 97,000. We can't wait to see you there.